So we've talked a lot on this channel about the navies of the MCR and the UN. But I figured today we could take a closer look at the other faction's navy, the Outer Planets Alliance, and see exactly what they're packing when it comes to military power. I'm Colin, and this is Sci-Fi Deep Dive. Remember, if you enjoy this video, to head down below and hit that subscribe button. So, for starters, I just want to throw out there that this will not be formatted like my Vessels of the MCRN or Vessels of the UNN videos, where I break down each class of vessels, and many of you will understand why. The OPA doesn't really have classes. Their vessels aren't broken up into conventional military uh, organization structures. Instead, OPA vessels are vastly different in almost every way from their inner planet counterparts. So... It really doesn't make much sense to describe the statistics of each individual vessel because every single one is unique. So let's start with exactly what the closest thing the OPA has to a navy is. The OPA works very differently from the interplanet governments in general. It's not a unified organization like Earth or Mars, but instead a group of smaller factions working together to sort of create this larger organization. And by the way, if you want to learn more about the OPA as a faction, here's a link to a video on that. But the OPA as a whole is assembled from smaller pieces and their navy is much of the same. The OPA's military is generally formed of smaller groups that were functioning militarily on their own prior to any sort of larger organization. And this brings me to what OPA vessels really are. A lot of them aren't purpose-built warships, but are instead vessels designed or built for other purposes that were sort of modified or repurposed to serve military means. This involves things like civilian cargo freighters being converted to be troop ships or large-scale military transports or resupply ships, and smaller vessels like rock hoppers or, or skiffs being converted into very light, fast attack craft. Aftermarket PDCs bought from independent manufacturers or even sort of pulled off of other vessels of other more uh, formal navies are bolted onto vessels that were never designed to have them on board. Power systems are sort of jerry-rigged to allow them to supply the higher amounts of power necessary to operate the weapon systems mounted to these vessels. This is why we don't see many belter vessels utilizing things like railguns. Railguns require a lot of power and a complicated stabilization system, and sort of mounting them to a vessel that wasn't intended to have a railgun on it is generally very difficult and only done in the most extreme circumstances. Another great example of the way this sort of belter military tech is just kind of bolted onto ships that it wasn't designed to fit onto are their torpedo systems. Unlike the military vessels of Earth or Mars, who have dedicated torpedo bays where their torpedoes are designed to be fired out of, uh, belter ships tend to just bolt their torpedoes to the outside of their ship and release them when they're being fired, just jettisoning them out into space and letting the torpedoes guidance system do the rest. And a lot of these vessels are not very large. These are skiffs and rock hoppers. These are really small vessels designed to go out and do a particular job, usually owned by an individual instead of a larger corporation. These could be compared to things like small fishing boats in our world, where they could be owned by a private individual as opposed to a larger company, since a larger company would be less likely to dedicate their own resources to a, honestly, at sometimes extremist uh, group. So the OPA's navy in general is made up of a bunch of smaller factions' own vessels, and these vessels tend to be small and thrown together, and this is why the OPA has to use interesting tactics if they want to stand a chance against the more formal military powers of the system. This is why we see the OPA using tactics that are similar to the Rebel Alliance from Star Wars, hit-and-run and piracy tactics designed to sort of rob their enemy of their resources and hit them where they least expect it, and then get out before an enemy can properly respond. And these are tactics that the OPA's military personnel would have been very familiar with, because a lot of the OPA's military personnel were pirates at one point. Not only were the vessels coming from pirate groups, but the military personnel themselves were usually former members of these pirate groups, or, in a lot of cases, active members of these pirate groups. The end result is you have a navy that's kind of thrown together out of spare parts and small vessels that were once serving other purposes, and then manned by pirates who have a lot of experience raiding shipping lines and harassing vessels that are, on paper, more capable 
this actually lends pretty well in the OPA's favor in the event of a war against the inner planets. Now, there are things that they struggle with, and we see them struggle with those things during the Free Navy Crisis, during the events of Season 6. And if you'd like to learn about some of the struggles that the Free Navy, which is an organized version of the OPA, had to deal with during that conflict, I'll leave a link up here to my video on exactly why I don't think they could actually win that war. And I want you to let me know down in the comments whether you think the OPA's navy could actually be called a navy. I mean, it was not formally organized for a very long time, and it really didn't have any uniform aspects to it. There was no actual uniforms, but there also was no uniformity amongst their ships, or really even their tactics. And if you have anything else you'd like to see me cover in the Expanse, leave it down below in the comments. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Sci-Fi Deep Dive, I'm Colin, and I will see you next time.